if today you have to write on yourself, do you think the way you had written earlier, you will going to write it in a more proper way this time? What do you think? What improvement you will bring if you have to write today on yourself? You know yourself better. And if you have to write on cow, let's say, you know cow better now? If you have to write on cow, you will going to write it better. On cow itself. Earlier, what you would have written on cow? 100 words on cow. It has four legs, one tail. So even a sixth class student can write. Even a student who is doing graduation can write. And you also have to write. So answer writing is not about right and wrong. It is about improvement. You will improve with your vocabulary will improve. Okay. So do not jump onto the third step of compilation. Ki, sir, plateau khatam ho de, hai, answer writing karwa do, because question can be on compare plateau's idea of justice with Rawls. So let's have proper understanding of all the topics. And then I'll give you a lot of time and will invest a lot of energy to build this particular capability of framing answers. Okay, but it it is the last thing. I'm not saying we will not start with the classes. We will. But do not be too concerned that I'm not able to write excellent answers just after one month of our preparation. It will take time. Okay, na? So first focus should be on building conceptual clarity. Okay? All of you have seen your syllabus? You have read your syllabus? Pakka? Pada? What is the fourth chapter of your slavers? Sab niche dekh rahe hai, sab ne padha hai. Lakshmi Khan padli, haan ji sir padli. Kitti baar padli, sir paanch baar padli. Chapters ke naam batana, ek bhi yaad nahi. Koi fayda nahi hai. If you do not remember, let's say one student is saying, Sir, I am reading newspaper religiously every day. Okay, after a week I'll ask, tell me five important things which you remember from your newspaper. Sir, I remember nothing. Then what's the fun of reading? So unless you do not remember, there is it is it is of no use. So first task which I'm giving you is remember your syllabus. Cram it. I hope you all can cram. So cram it. Which you have done till date. That is to cram. Take the copy, photocopy of your syllabus, paste it in front of your study table. Do this. Check it nice silly lage. Do this. Take na. Isko rato apne slabas ko. Every word should be on your tips, which is written in your slabas, both in optional and in GS. Uh, I'm not visible to. Uh, I'm not visible online students. You are visible. You are visible. So I guess this problem. To those so, whom I'm not, I guess there's some problem with your camera. Thick. So, sabse pehla kaam karna hai, aapko yaad karna hai. so, what is the fourth chapter of your syllabus? Paper one, part A, equality. And the third chapter is of justice. Thick. And second is state. Now, in your paper one, so two papers, paper one and paper two. The two most important concepts of your paper one, around these two concepts, the whole paper one revolves. Jo bhi hum padenge, jitni bhi hum theories padenge, everything will going to revolve around these two concepts. One is state, and second is the concept of justice. These are the two most important concepts of your paper one, state and justice. Everything is about state and everything is about justice. So all of you have attended the orientation class? No. So political, those who did political science in your graduation. Political science begins and ends with who said this? Garner. Okay, so we need to remember the name of few scholars. Garner is a scholar or a philosopher? Scholar. And you consider Plato as a scholar or philosopher? What is the difference between a philosopher and a scholar? Yeah, hmm. You have orientation. That's a good thing. So, who is in your subject? Mein kaun hai? Philosophers. Hai. Any friend of yours 
any time has tagged you as a philosopher? Kabhi kaha hai? Ya philosophers wali baatein mat kar. Kaha hai kabhi kisi ne? Have you ever tried to become a philosopher? Nahi. You are here to become a philosopher? Nahi. Kya banne aayo? Scholar. Bas agar ye dono try kare na, philosopher or scholar, to UPSC nahi ho na. There's a difference. You are not here to become a philosopher. You are not here to become a scholar. See, Raja Mohan is scholar. Wo banna hai? Nahi. Raghuram Ranjan is scholar. Wo banna hai? Nahi. Aap kya banna hai ho? Civil servant. So you are not here to become a scholar. You are not here to become a philosopher. You are here to become a civil servant. So you have to prepare subject in a different way. You do not have to do master's in any of the subject. So in GS, as there are so many subjects, do not try to become what? Master. Do not try to become a scholar of the subject. You are not here for this. When we say philosophy, philosophy means it comes from two words, philos plus sophie. Philos plus sophie. Philos means love and sophie means knowledge. Sophia schools of education, eh, na? So Sophia means knowledge. Those who have love for knowledge, they are philosophers. You are here because of love of knowledge? You are here because you have love for the subject of political science? You are here because you love history? <laughs> no, you are here because you want what? Power. So you are here for Power. Ke liye लव अब नहीं है आपको किसी बात से आप यहां पे पावर के लिए हो ठीक है ना एंड पावर इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट ऑफ पेपर 2 सो पेपर 1 रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड दीस टू कांसेप्ट स्टेट एंड जस्टिस एंड पेपर 2 द होल पेपर 2 रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड द कांसेप्ट ऑफ पावर यू आर हियर फॉर पावर नहीं यू आर नॉट हियर फॉर पावर लिटिल बिट what you will do with that little bit of power? Why you want this little bit of power? Those who have not attended the GS lectures. Is it right that if you are, is, is it wrong if you are aspiring for power? No. Is it right to aspire for power? No. If let's say, after a year or so, you are sitting in front of the interview board and one of the board member asks you, that you are here to acquire power. You will accept that? Let others say, those who have not attended the orientation and the GS, so that they should also understand what they are going to know from, the, from this subject of PSIR. So, one thing is for sure, this subject will give you immense clarity about the country, about the world and about the nuances of the politics. You will feel after few months that the kind of individual you entered into the class, now you have changed as a person. So much of new understandings and new knowledge you will are going to acquire from this subject of PSR. It's a life-changing subject. Okay, I'm it does not mean just for the sake of saying I'm telling you, you yourself will feel. Whatever your beliefs are right now, all beliefs will shatter. Okay. So if you, if someone will ask you, you are aspiring for power, will you accept that? Yes, you are aspiring for power or not? Is it wrong to aspire for power? No. India wants to become superpower. Then India is looking forward to acquire permanent membership in UNSC. What that, what that will give us? Veto power. So why you can't aspire for power? So never hold a negative sentiment with what? power it's totally fine if you are if chance if chance if chance would have given to rahul gandhi to become the prime minister do you think he would have said no modi is a better one to do so no he would have become the prime minister or not so he who wants power or not every cm wants to become prime minister or not so what's harm if you are aspiring for power and that is why in this subject of psir the one personality which is very important and which we are going to refer again and again is gandhi because what Gandhi said, means are important or goals? Means. What means you are opting for to acquire power? Writing UPSC. 
लेजिटिमेट मीन यू आर नॉट थिंकिंग ऑफ गोइंग विद अ गन इन फ्रंट ऑफ द बोर्ड गिव मी टू हंड्रेड मार्क्स ठीक है ना और थिंकिंग टू रिग योर मेन्स बाय रॉन्ग मीन्स ओके सो यू आर रेडी टू वर्क हार्ड टू एक्वायर पावर बैलेट इज द वे टू एक्वायर पावर नॉट बुलेट दो आर एस्पायरिंग टू एक्वायर पावर इन अ डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री थ्रू बुलेट दे आर नीड टू बी सीन एज वॉट टेररिस्ट so game is of means so you are opting for right legitimate means to acquire power and second aspect is what you will do with power that will discuss later so game is why you want power and through which means you are looking forward to acquire power and complete the whole paper to revolves around the concept of power so these are the three important concepts in your subject that is state justice and power thik so i said in this subject we have philosophers whom you will consider as philosopher and the roots of this subject roots of political science lies in philosophy and that is why psir will also help you a lot in your gs paper 4 that is ethics because ethics is about what what is the definition of ethics what is right and what is wrong so this notion of right and wrong the answer for this comes from where philosophy okay so understanding philosophy will help you to build your concepts in gs paper 4 and this subject its roots lies in philosophy so first we'll study philosophers whom we consider philosopher kinko philosophers mante hain why we consider plato as philosopher aristotle as philosopher machiavelli as philosopher then hobbes philosopher then locke then mill rousseau is not in our syllabus but we do need to understand the concept of general will of rousseau then marx then gramsci and then hana adent so these are philosophers batao kaun hota hai philosopher one who gives idea can you give some new idea anyone can give so anyone can be a philosopher what ought to be so specific ideology nahi hoti those who gives ideas giving ideas that like plato for the first time gave an idea of ideal state he gave the idea of justice okay he gave the idea that how to become a how athens can become an ideal state so when you give idea just for the sake of giving idea so this can be seen as philosophy and those who gives idea they are known as philosophers giving ideas are you here to give ideas already all ideas are been given are you here to give idea that how we can make bureaucracy better you are not here for this you are here to study the ideas which are already existing thick so those who give ideas they are philosophers once you explain ideas explanation of idea becomes theory so what is theory systematic explanation of idea thick is theory so all these philosophers has given what theories they have given systematic explanation of their ideas then comes ideologue then comes ideologue how you differentiate a philosopher from ideologue what is different between philosophy and ideology so next thing which is in our syllabus is ideologies aap dekho syllabus ka kaun sa chapter hai ideologies political ideology sabne pad liya tha syllabus ha a theek hai na ideologies ha so when you are giving idea with the objective to acquire power this becomes ideology idea to acquire power is ideology those who give idea with the objective to acquire power are ideologue in which category you will keep hitler ideologue or philosopher 
and plato gave the idea of plato we consider as philosopher he said state to be governed by whom philosopher king might be he himself wanted to become philosopher king and if he was looking forward to become a philosopher king and that's why he has given this idea this turn plato into ideologues yahi discussion ka part hai now plato has written books there will be someone who has invested his or her life to study the work of plato that person will become what scholar and you will praise or criticize plato by the terminology of whom scholar aap apne man se mat kehna plato aisa hai aapko kya pata plato kaisa hai ki humne plato ka work thodi na padhne wale hain those who have read the work of plato and has given political commentary on that will going to comment on plato through the words of these scholar like karl popper so popper is scholar and plato is philosopher the big question mark can we consider plato as ideologue there is a big question mark and who has put this question mark karl popper samajh gaye to hitler ko aap kabhi philosopher maan sakte ho nahi because hitler ne jo ideas diye unka objective kya tha power acquire karna so if you are giving idea with the inherent objective of acquiring power are you philosopher or ideologue ideologue theek hai na so these are the three things that is theory thought and ideology systematic explanation of idea is theory change of idea in time and space is thought and idea with the objective to acquire power is ideology you okay, know this is different between theory thought and ideology i'll repeat again systematic explanation of idea is theory change of idea in time and space is thought and idea with the objective to acquire power is ideology okay so all these philosophers has given some idea and important is to remember their central idea important is to remember their central idea theek hai na हर फिलोसफर का एक सेंट्रल आइडिया है जिस पर क्वेश्चन आता है ठीक जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ आस्किंग टू नो हाउ मच यू रिमेंबर एंड हाउ वेल यू हैव स्टडीड योर सब्जेक्ट ड्यूरिंग योर ग्रेजुएशन व्हाट इज द सेंट्रल आइडिया ऑफ हना हना एडेंट व्हाट इज द सेंट्रल आइडिया ऑफ हना एडेंट शी इज द ओनली वुमेन फिलोसफर हाँ वॉट इज द सेंट्रल आइडिया ये सेंट्रल आइडिया थोड़ी ना है मैं तो जस्ट कहा है शी इज द ओनली वुमेन फिलोसफर Huh? This is not the central idea. This is not the central idea. Anyways, what is the central idea of Gramsci? Very good. Gramsci is very important. Every year UPSC is asking question on Gramsci. What is the central idea of Marx? Communism. What is communism according to Marx? वेरी गुड क्लासलेस एंड स्टेटलेस सोसाइटी ठीक है ना करेंगे इस पर डिटेल में बात करेंगे ठीक है ना वॉट इज द सेंट्रल आइडिया ऑफ मिल मिल एंड वॉट इज द सेंट्रल आइडिया ऑफ हॉप्स तो ठीक है देख लिया नॉन पी एस आर बैकग्राउंड स्टूडेंट सबका एक जैसा हाल है इसलिए पूछ रहा था तो ज्यादा चिंता की जरूरत नहीं है मजे करो स्क्रैच से स्टार्ट करेंगे ठीक तो जस्टिस इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट सिविक रिपब्लिकनिज्म अभी करेंगे इस पर डिटेल में बात ठीक सो इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इज जस्टिस justice is a objective concept or a subjective one subjective idea of justice can change in time and space idea of justice can change from society to society can we have a universal idea of justice which is acceptable for which is acceptable to all at all the time can we have this nahi no. who has tried to give a universal idea of justice kisne try kiya hai रॉल्स ने ठीक है ना रॉल्स टू गिव अ 
universal idea of justice. Now, you remember your preamble? Done with polity? Nay, abhi nay. You remember preamble? Preamble? What is written in the preamble? Be the age endeavor is to achieve or create what kind of states? Out of justice, liberty, equality, we are giving most important, we are giving maximum importance to which value? Justice. The endeavor is to create a just state. Are we able to create a just state? We are working on it. We are not able to. Not yet. Achha. Let's say you are in future, 30 years down the line, you are able to become the prime minister of India with the absolute majority. There's no need for any coalition. You have absolute majority with a complete control over your party. Will you be able to create a just state? To fifth PM Modi ke to aap criticize mat karna. And in indirectly you are saying hardly matter whoever becomes the PM, we, it is not possible to have a just state. Will you be able to create a just state? You will try. How you will try? What you will try so that we should be able to create a just state for this. We need an idea of justice and we do not have a single idea of justice. And this is the subjectivity involved in this concept. Reservation is a way to attain justice. Because we are we opted for reservation, we have compromised on merit. What do you think? It... Don't you think if we are if we are compromising on merit, it is an impacting the productivity of the state? Don't you think we should have aspired to create a meritorious society rather than a just society? Don't you think we should have aspired for a meritorious society rather than a just society? No, because Aristotle said injustice will lead to revolution. So and we are not aspiring for a meritorious society. We have compromised on merit because endeavor is to create a just state. So what is the most important value which we want to attain in a state? Justice. During COVID, what government decided first vaccine should be given to whom? Healthcare workers, frontline workers. But you didn't came out of your house criticizing government and decided to revolt against the state. You easily accepted lockdown. Why? Because you thought it is in your interest. State is doing justice. But state allowed few that they can come out of your out of their home. Essential services. You accepted that. Then state decided first vaccine should be given to whom? Frontline worker. You accepted that it is justice. After that, government decided that it should be given to whom? O older, elder, above this particular age. You accepted that or not? Yes. But there cannot be one single idea of justice. And the whole debate, so many theories are there revolving around the idea of justice. In orientation class also I told this, especially the example of Amritya Sen, because he has also talked on justice. He is the critic of Rawls' universal idea of justice. I'll expect answer from those who have not attended the orientation class. Let's say there are three kids, A, B, C. This is the example given by Amritya Sen, not by me. A is saying th that I climbed the tree, did all the hard work to make this flute. So I deserve this flute because all hard work done by whom? Me. So I deserve this. There is another kid B who is saying, I do not have any other toy to play with. So flute should be given to me. And then comes the C. C is saying, I know how to play it. I will produce music out of it. If these two will play, others have to put fingers on their ears. I know how to play it. What do you think? To whom we should give this flute? Let's say state have to decide. You as a DM have to decide. Whom this flute to be given within your district, whom you will give, so that you end up doing justice. Isko doge. Siko de doge. Very good. College me padi ye baat. 
नहीं पढ़ी और ये यूपीएससी के लिए इम्पोर्टेंट है कॉलेज में बात थॉट आया मेरिट वी आर इट्स अ मेरिटोरियस सोसाइटी और अ जस्ट सोसाइटी विल नॉट टॉक इन दीज टर्म देयर यू विल जस्ट रिमेंबर क्रैम एंड राइट हेयर यू नीड टू एनालाइज एंड कंपेयर एंड इंटरलिंक किसको देगी पता है किसको दोगे बी को दे दोगे सो यू सेट सी शी सेंग बी सो बोथ ऑफ यू हैव डिफरेंट आइडिया ऑफ जस्टिस आई होप नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एज अ डीएम यू विल गिव इट टू सम अदर पर्सन शी विल गिव इट टू सम अदर पर्सन सी को कराओ अटेंड ओरिएंटेशन Three of them with different dimensions. A. So now I hope you can understand that how confusing it is to do what, justice, or as an administrator, what is expected from you to do justice, which is not possible. So how you will do that? Because there is no single idea. That's why you will going to follow the law books. ठीक है ना? आपको executions करने हैं. So this subjective, this subjectivity is the reason we need. to discuss this idea from different dimensions and this concept also makes part of your what gs paper 4 theek hai according to sain whosoever you will give kisi ko bhi de do other two will feel injustice now there are liberals liberal scholars hain liberals will say whom to be given a so liberals will say what is justice give it to one who is doing all the hard work do you think liberals will stand for progressive taxation means those who are earning more they should pay more taxes to the state nahi wo kahenge unka hard work hai wo rakhe this is what liberal side of justice so liberals will say fluid belongs to whom a socialist will say fluid belongs to whom b ab samajh gaye to agar aap socialist ho to aap b ko de doge aap liberal ho to aap a ko de doge and utilitarian who will say the one who will derive maximum pleasure out of this c so this is what sains criticism of rawls itna easy hai baatein samajhna if we'll relate things and we will link things theek so this is the problem with the concept of justice and justice is the most important value and our endeavor is to create a just state out of liberty equality and justice main focus we have given on what justice and our constant endeavor is to is to ensure justice and reservation is the way to ensure justice अब रिजर्वेशन को सपोर्ट करोगे हाँ बट इट हैज टेकन अ रॉन्ग टर्न यू विल से इट हैज टेकन अ रॉन्ग टर्न बिकॉज इट हैज बिकम इट हैज इन इंडिया वी ऑप्टेड फॉर कास्ट बेस एंड ऑन अदर साइड वी आर ट्राइंग टू रिड्यूस कास्ट डिस्पेरिटीज एंड कास्ट रिजिडिटीज बट रिजर्वेशन हैज फर्दर स्ट्रेंथन कास्ट रिजिडिटीज सो इकोनॉमी शुड बी द क्राइटेरिया रादर देन कास्ट ठीक सेकेंड कॉन्सेप्ट इज स्टेट You believe in state? करते हो यू बिलीव इन स्टेट हाउ मेनी स्टेट वी हैव इन द वर्ल्ड हाउ मेनी स्टेट वी हैव वन नाइंटी फाइव सो नेक्स्ट क्लास on monday we'll discuss the difference between the concept of nation and state very 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 important concept on which further discussion will depend okay you need to have a complete clarity on these two concepts that is nation and state india is a nation or a state state hai nation nahi hai both hai are we both nation state on the way hai ठीक है तो जीएस लगाया हुआ है ना मुझे पता है जीएस चेहरे में पहचानता हूं उनको भी याद नहीं होगा तो किसको होगा ठीक है सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी वी हैव 193 स्टेट्स स्टेट इज अ ऑब्जेक्टिव कांसेप्ट नेशन इज अ सब्जेक्टिव कांसेप्ट वी बिकेम स्टेट इन 47 वी हैव येट टू बिकम नेशन स्टेट व्हाई आई एम सेइंग दिस मंडे ओके सो देयर आर 193 स्टेट्स इन द वर्ल्ड 193rd state was south sudan okay there are n nations in the world 
in general we say india is a nation state okay so you believe in state why you believe in state why you believe in state ensures justice or it is exploitative state ensures liberties or state restricts liberties both state dono deta hai aapko aapki liberties restrict bhi karta hai aur aapko ensure karta hai liberty state protects property or state confiscate property both and if state will come and take your property what you will do revolt and you will feel state is exploitative left wing extremism naxalism in india depends how you are seeing state because all of you are preparing for upsc that it's a clear reflection of this you believe in state you can't be anti state preparing upsc you can a state of india was there when british was in when british was here and we were a colony but there were in ics india civil services even at that time so those who were preparing for ics they can't participate in what freedom movement right similarly you can't be against the state of india preparing upsc state if anyone will ask you why you believe in state because state ensures security and this is what hobbs said why we need state state ensures security state protects life okay na if anyone will come to you and threaten you any anti social element comes and threaten you what you will do jaoge police ke paas ya local goon ke paas jaoge bahubalis in up okay this is the problem so you will you will go to the police and you believe police will help you police but if you are going to police and police start harassing you what notion you will hold towards state machinery state is exploited theek hai na to main khud police ban jata hu theek hai so state who believes in state liberals liberals believe in state they need they believe we need state for what security who do not believe in state anarchist those who do not believe inne kya kehte hain arag arag jakta theek hai na they are anarchist whom we consider as anarchist gandhi and uh, marx theek hai na both were anti state marx believed what is state state is an instrument of bourgeois capitalist property class and gandhi said state is a soulless machine so both were anti state but both suggested the way forward differently marx believed in violence and gandhi believed in non violence so there are two statesmen that is marx and gandhi the society of china is based on the vision of marx mao and indian society is based on the vision of gandhi out of the state of india and china who is doing better very good kisne kaha isko indian citizenship renounce karni hai bhejo china just raise hand nahi nahi bilkul sahi kaha china to so given the chance no no you didn't said this i just asked who is doing better you said china so let's say kim jong call you personal call he gives to you and offers you a mansion with a sports car and requires your administrative services for the state of north korea are you ready to renounce the indian citizenship you will do economically better there you are struggling so hard here preparing for upsc already you are getting the best of the economic life in north korea why no then how you come to the conclusion china is doing better you don't want to renounce indian citizenship fir do not jump to the conclusions when i'm asking something there will always a trap theek hai saudi arabia jana hai nahi china jana hai nahi north korea you will never know where we end up in the mouth of the crocodile also theek hai you do not want to respect the liberties you are getting in the state of india yes probably economically yes politically who is doing better india cherish the liberties and the freedoms where on social media you can write pm is chore can you do this in north korea russia mein putin ke against monarch saudi ke against nahi soch bhi nahi sakte phir ye kar sakte hai na india mein india is the island of democracy outside west given the chance probably you will think to settle in us 
in Canada, Australia. Why? Because their people have more liberties. So cherish liberties. Okay, now you do not want to live in a communist state. So India, Indian society is the outcome of the vision of Gandhi, and China is seen as the outcome of the vision of Marx Mao. Okay, now. Paper one is all about justice and state. And paper two is about power. As I said, do not hold negative connotation with the objective to acquire power. Basic aspiration and endeavor is to acquire power. What is the definition of power? Anyone can say. Yeah, there. Ability to influence. Power is the ability to influence. Power gives you ability to influence. Why you want to influence others? Influence karke uplift karenge? That's why you want power. But you will not. This is the reality what you are telling me. But you do not have to speak that. Okay. You have to say what the UPSC board wants to listen. Okay. So power is the ability to influence. So there are Theories in your paper too. Theories in international relation. Okay, na? Sab ab dekh rahe hain. Aur sab ne pad liya tha slavers, ha? Kaun sa chapter hai theories in IR? Theories and the basic concepts in your international relation. Theories, theories. Chapter fifth. Hmm. So theories. Again, theories are again. Theories are systematic explanation of idea. So there will be idea, idealist, realist, liberal. So there are scholars. Okay, liberal scholars in IR, realist scholars in IR, idealist scholars in IR, like US President Woodrow Wilson. He's seen as idealist. Based on his idea, League of Nations was created, which was failed as Second World War took place. So the theories in the paper two are idealism, realism, and liberalism. Then Marxist theory of IR, continuation of the Marxist idea. Marx as such has not given any theory of international relation. But there are Marxist scholars who use the ideas of Marx to give a or to frame a theory of international relation. Sorry, we will talk about it. So, idealist scholars clash is between idealist and Realist scholars. Realist emphasize lot on what? Power. The claim and the stand of the realist scholars is states keep aspiring for power. And this aspiration and endeavor will never end. Every state will keep aspiring for power and more power. As every state will keep aspiring for power and more power, what is bound to take? Power equilibrium is bound to fail. There will be power disequilibrium. So as every country will keep aspiring for power, power equilibrium will disturb and wars are inevitable. This is the firm belief of whom? Realist. The history of all human civilization is about what? Kya hai history of human civilization? Wars. You can see that. Ancient history mein kya padoge? Wars, the modern maybe or medieval may wars. The whole history of human civilization is what means humans can't live in peace. This is the belief and claim of whom realist and need and the endeavor is to prevent wars. Way forward has been suggested by liberals. You cannot. So they believe wars are inevitable. Either countries, when I'm using word, word country, state and country, one and the same thing. Either countries are preparing for war or they are fighting war. Do you think India is preparing for war? 
कर रहे हैं वॉर के लिए तो रियलिस्ट फिर देन रियलिस्ट सो इफ द क्वेश्चन इज रियलिज्म इज अ टाइमलेस विजडम कमेंट यू विल से यस इज इंडिया प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर वॉर नहीं कर रहे हैं yes. Every country is preparing for war. Why we are keeping our nuclear arsenal intact? Why we are keeping such a strong army and upgrading the strength of our army? Why we have acquired Rafale? Why we have not used that money to improve our HDI, Human Development Index? Means we do understand that wars are inevitable. So here comes that realism is a timeless wisdom. Okay? They believe every country is preparing for war. and no matter what the time and the day will come when state has to fight war war are inevitable and way forward to prevent war suggested by whom liberal ठीक they believe in power and idealist believes in ethics they said we should we should pursue we need to states should do right states should do just states do follow ethics when states are dealing with each other do you think states follow ethics when they are dealing with each other maine yahi kaha tha abhi sab kuch sochna badal jayega theek hai na it seems as if states follow ethics but the reality of world politics is power politics there is no role of ethics it's all about what power how i'll tell you there are multiple example is it ethical that Only five are allowed to have nuclear weapons. ठीक है ना? There are multiple examples which I can tell you, which will clearly establish this aspect. There is no role of what ethics. It's all about what power. ठीक है ना? So telling you. So first thing is about the theories of IR, and the second thing is about. the important concepts in the subject of international relation once you have a clarity of the theories of ir and the clarity on the important concepts of ir india and the world will be a cake walk for you the most strongest part of your syllabus if the part from which you will going to score very easily and maximum you will going to score which is a bit which is a part which is the part which i have seen in general aspirants have a fear of because of the dynamic nature of this part that will going to become your strength okay that is india and the world once you have a proper understanding of the theories and the concept and the way i am going to teach you india and the world everything will be in your mind and you will be never short of content to frame your answers only thing here in your optional which separate your optional answer of your india and the world from the gs is the opinion of the scholars india pakistan dynamics will not change west asian political dynamics will not change look east policy which we discuss in gs will not change here act east will remain same only we will need to add and substantiate our answer with the opinion of scholars so do all those all of you as you have opted for psr there is no need to study ir for your gs whenever you will go for your mains just with the knowledge and information you have about the india and the world you will be able to substantiate your answers in gs paper too very easily you do not need to read internal security you do not need to study ir you do not have to study governance section because the governance section will be covered under igp part तो आपको इस सारे टॉपिक्स को टच भी नहीं करना है ठीक है ना एज सच यू विल बी रीडिंग न्यूज पेपर यू बी गेटिंग दर्सपेक्टिव मैगजीन एंड द वैल्यू एडिशन विल बी थ्रू योर टेस्ट सीरीज प्रोग्राम विच विल बी फ्री फॉर योर बैच ओके दिस इज द टेस्ट सीरीज ऑफ दिल बी आई एम गोइंग टू कंडक्ट अ टेस्ट सीरीज विच विल स्टार्ट इन अक्टूबर नवंबर टेस्ट सीरीज ऑफ सिक्सटीन टेस्ट एट विल टेक प्लेस बिफोर प्री एंड एट विल बी आफ्टर प्री ओके सो स्टार्ट राइटिंग दोज टेस्ट वंस इट विल स्टार्ट इन नवंबर so india and the world how we are going to cover india and the world is that since independence when we decided to frame our foreign policy we decided to pursue a concentric circle approach okay in our foreign policy and first focus we decided to give to which countries to major powers of the world or neighborhood 
neighborhood. So what is the most important area of our concern with whom we want to have good cordial ties is neighborhood. The area we want to keep our influence intact is neighborhood. Okay. The best of the diplomats, which government thinks that they have the best of the career and they will, uh, they are, they, they are, they are, they are those who will going to do the best of the diplomacy to serve our interest. Government will send these kind of diplomats where? Neighboring countries. So our interest in Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Maldives and Pakistan, Afghanistan, this comprises our what? immediate neighborhood so first important so you will get maximum questions and the direct and the direct questions on the direct bilateral ties with which countries of the world neighboring countries india and its bilateral ties with whom the countries of south asia as i ask how many countries we have in the world 193 is it possible to know the dynamics of India with 192 countries? No, it's a waste of time and energy. How many countries are there in... Which continent has maximum countries? African continent? Or Asia? Africa. More than 50? Asia and Africa? What about Europe? Then Asia, then Africa. And there are more than 50 countries in Africa. Do you think it is important to know the dynamics of our bilateral engagement with these 50 countries in Africa? Waste of time. India, Africa ties as a whole. The dynamics of our bilateral ties is important with the countries of which region? Neighborhood. So whatever is when you are... So with the classes, you will build a better understanding how you need to read newspapers. What are, what are the news which are important and uh, which news you should give a more, where you need to give more focus. Okay. So dynamic of our engagement with Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh is important. Change of government in Nepal. Do you think we should be aware of this, that the government has changed in Nepal? Yes. The important parties of Nepal are Nepali Congress and UML, Unified Marxist Lenin. If UML will come to power, do you think it will going to change the dynamics of our engagement with the with the state of Nepal? Because yes, UML leadership will going to show more closer alignment with whom? China. China. And rising China's influence in the region is a concern for us or not? Yes. Yes. This is important for you to know. So you need to know the important political parties of the countries of this region and in general if any new political event takes place in the countries of this region not is what is going on in argentina even if a new government will come in colombia we do not have any concern for that because we do not have as such direct that the geopolitical dynamics of latin america will not going to have a direct impact on india but the civil war in Myanmar can have its direct impact on us. Why? Yes, because Refugees we share are coming. And it can have its impact on the security situation in Northeast. Do we have a concern for democracy in Myanmar? Yes. When we, when we say Asia, we divide Asia geographically as West Asia. Central Asia, South Asia, South East Asia, and East Asia. Out of all these Asias, which is the most volatile and regionally instable region? Out of all, it is West Asia. But out of all these, which is the most hostile place to live? In general, the, the if without these, the thought would have come that it is West Asia. But in reality, scholars believe that the most hostile place to live in the world is South Asia. Why? Because here we have three nuclear weapon states. Okay. And any day, 
this region at least is devoid of what nuclear rivalry till date but iran is inching towards what acquiring weapon and if iran will able to do so this will push whom to go for its own nuclear program zail cross to already hai saudi arabia and that is why india is against the nuclear program of iran aisi baatein important hai aapke liye janna theek hai theek answer mat karna ji students okay so dynamics of our bilateral ties are very important with the countries of this region and the new political dynamics or whatever is going on within this region should be of your concern because our direct interest lies here theek now you all know the important organization of this region is sark take it as your another homework for these organization you need to know three things one when it was constituted where is the headquarter how many members and where the next summit planned theek hai ye char cheez aapko important organizations jo bhi hum whatever organization important organization we'll discuss in the class you need to know these four things about all these important institutions and organizations so first is sark where is the headquarter of sark how many countries are there in the sark is afghanistan a member of sark hai afghanistan do we share border with afghanistan but on you will claim pok belongs to us theek hai na you will say yes on paper we claim we do share border with afghanistan theek hai na home minister has said this in parliament that every inch belongs to whom india how we going to take it back that is we are clueless wo alag baat hai theek hai na uska bhi nahi pata but on paper we claim that it belongs to us now sak is dysfunctional means uh, There is a deadlock in Sark. ये पता है? पता है बात या नहीं? Sark is dysfunctional. There is a deadlock. Last summit took place way back. And uh, if I ask, what do you think is the main reason for the dysfunctional nature of Sark? What answer you will give? India Pakistan. India Pakistan. ठुक जा. lack of trust between nations or you said india pakistan theek hai you ask anyone anywhere those who are reading newspapers that what is the reason for the dysfunctional nature of sark and why there is deadlock first point you will say is tension between india pakistan yahi kahoge theek you will change your answer after our discussion on india and south asia remember this so when you will change your answer it means what that you have evolved sir now you know and you understand your dynamics better i never i am not saying india pakistan is not the reason it is one of the reason but right now you are not in a position to tell what is the most important or the major reason for the dysfunctional nature of sark this is what i am saying about when we say answer writing you can't write answers right now you if i ask this what are the major challenges in front of india foreign policy all of you can write something on this you can write at least two to three or four challenges itte to likh hi sakte ho what is the major challenge in front of india's foreign policy ek ek point karte hain let's see wait hmm. what is one of the major challenge wait online student ha any one major challenge in front of india are rising china's profile another thing change of vocabulary India China relationship नहीं rising China's profile rising China's influence okay diminishing India's influence within its sphere of influence all these terms will become part of your vocabulary ये अभी बताऊंगा ये सारी बातें अभी आज मैं सिर्फ overview दे रहा हूँ कि आगे पढ़ना कैसे है so one thing is rising China's presence in this region South Asia is our sphere of influence there's a word in IR we use word sphere of influence and rising China's profile within this region is a challenge one of the major challenge theek hai any other challenge koi bhi challenge nahi pata kuch to pata hoga koi challenge hai hamare liye balancing our ties with russia us very good so another challenge 
रुक जा टेररिज्म इज वन ऑफ द मेजर चैलेंज यू कुड हैव सेड सेड टेररिज्म पाक स्पॉन्सर्ड टेररिज्म इज वन ऑफ द मेजर चैलेंज हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव रेड द रेड यस्टरडेज न्यूज़पेपर किसनों ने पढ़ा है इंडियन एक्सप्रेस इंडियन एक्सप्रेस में था टेन मेजर सिक्योरिटी थ्रेट्स फॉर इंडिया नाइन मेजर सिक्योरिटी थ्रेट हु हैज रिटन दैट सीधा जा मोहन कुछ भी रिटायर्ड आईपीएस हैं वो एटलीस्ट वही पढ़ लेते तो नाइन चैलेंजेस पता चल जाते हैं एक दो याद रह जाते हैं तो फिर बोला क्यों नहीं अभी तो पूछा मैंने ठीक है टेररिज्म और कोई चैलेंज परमानेंट सीट इन यूएनएससी चैलेंज है हमारे लिए हा विद हुम कुछ भी नहीं लिखना है ठीक है दिस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम एंड यूपीएससी मेंस एग्जाम टू थिंग्स यू कांट डू इन यूपीएससी दैट इज ब्लफिंग एंड बीटिंग अराउंड द बुश ठीक है दो चीजें नहीं करनी है सीखोगे सारी बातें Let's give the messages. You can write two to three. Someone can write four. One can write five. Uh, let's say in the one who will write nine to ten in mains exam, who will fetch more marks? Itna hi answer writing. More points you have to write in the vocabulary of the subject and substantiate it with the opinion of scholars. Do not do in GS. This can be a question in GS and in your optional. This is what UPSC mains answer writing is. First, you need to have what content points to whom हमारे पास multiple challenges हैं. More and more we'll discuss. You will, you will able and in that you have to compile. You have to substantiate your information which will be in your mind. ठीक है ना? Even if UPSC will allow you to bring your notes in the examination hall, open book test. I am telling you this. Even if UPSC will allow you to do Google, keep your mobiles with you, bring your laptops and write your answers in mains. it will not going to help you in any way you will realize after some time because there will be no direct question as such uh, and uh, you have to use your analytical skills to frame your answer theek so you will change your answer of what what is the major reason for the deadlock of sark and with time you will have more points to write the challenges now india and its neighborhood so we need the detailed discussion on the dynamics of our bilateral ties with these countries of south asia theek what kind of political system we have in india parliamentary unitary democratic republic phir phir ye kya bola democratic parliamentary what kind of political system we have parliamentary federal democratic रिपब्लिक फिर ये बोलना था ना वॉट काइंड ऑफ पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम इज देयर इन पाकिस्तान पार्लियामेंट्री वन पार्टी पार्लियामेंट्री एक ही पार्टी है एक तो इमरान खान बंदा जेल में हा एक नवाज शरीफ की पार्टी है दूसरी वो भुट्टो वाली पार्टी है बिलावल भुट्टो की आपको वन पार्टी याद आ रही है पाकिस्तान कॉम्युनिस्ट स्टेट थोड़ी ना what kind of political system is there in pakistan so do you think it is important to know the kind of political system in pakistan pehla to question ye hai do you think it is why immediate neighborhood hai wahan political system to pata ho kya hai theek hai so as a aspirant you need to know the political systems prevailing within the countries of south asia second homework third homework of yours theek hai na likho kaun sa political system hai yahan par sri lanka mein kya hai भूटान में कैसा है वॉट इज देयर इन भूटान नेपाल मालदीव बांग्लादेश ठीक वी विल यू विल नीड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन फैक्चुअल इंफॉर्मेशन वेन विल गो फॉर डिटेल डिस्कशन ठीक वॉट काइंड ऑफ पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम इज देयर इन अफगानिस्तान एनी आइडिया नो no आइडिया आपको भी आइडिया नहीं है पीछे कोई आइडिया नहीं है क्या है अफगानिस्तान में अभी यूएस था आफ्टर यूएस हुएस टू कोवर पावर तालिबान ठीक है ना यू ऑल हैव हर्ड अबाउट तालिबान 
Do you know the difference between good Taliban and bad Taliban? No. Again, so you can see those who have attended the lectures in GS, they know this. And you do not have any clue between good and bad Taliban. Another question, do you think we need to know the difference between good and bad? Will UPSC ask you write about or write, uh, uh, write a note on Taliban? No. Or give a elucidate what Taliban is looking forward to and what are their objective? No. Then why we need to know about Taliban? Because they have formed the government in Afghanistan. We need to know their political objective because our strong interest lies where in Afghanistan as it can impact our engagement with the Central Asian states. So these are all things that are important for you. Okay, right? Have you heard about Al-Qaeda? Suna? In which context you know about Al-Qaeda? Terrorist organization, what act they did, which... Nine eleven. Okay. That was done by Al Qaeda. Is this different between Al Qaeda and Taliban? अरे आप जीएस स्टूडेंट्स रुक जाओ. देखो छोड़ो सब कुछ. पहले तो acquire two personality traits. In your GS class also I said this, but you have not acquired yet. What are these two personality traits which every aspirant needs to have? And if you do not have, you need to acquire it. What are these two? Patience. And second, responsibility. So patience to love pele. Aiga PSR me bot kuch jo apko nahi pata hoga. Fir batana. Okay? You need to be what? Responsible. Power comes with? Responsibility. So board needs to be very sure that you are responsible because in the end, uh, UPSC will going to give what? Power. Gun will give you what? Power. Only difference between an officer and a terrorist holding gun is what? Responsible. Terrorist can shoot anytime, anyone. Officer will not do the same. Dono ke mein kya hone wali hai? Gun hone wali hai. And gun gives what? Power. So you have to be responsible. Power comes with responsibility. The thing which separates or differentiates a common person, a civilian from an officer, that is, who can afford to be irresponsible? Civilian. Who can't afford to be irresponsible? Because your decisions will going to have an impact on whom? So many. So you yourself can't be responsible and that is why it is expected. That is why you need to you need to reflect that in your small acts, like the incident last to last year when an, when an aspirant went to the examination hall without taking the ID card and the invigilator refused and later that aspirant committed suicide. This is the incident of uh, uh, Karol Bag only. Now, it seems what too harsh, but it is expected from the aspirant to be what? Responsible. So, College the cool tab, college khatam ho gaya. Class me aana without pen. Theek hai. Today you are coming without. It was cool in college to come in the class without notebook and pen. But now you should not. So change your behavior and thought pattern. Theek hai na? Apna pen leke, notes leke. Sir, my notebook ho gayi. Please don't tell me this. Sir, my notebook ho gaye. Please help me out to arrange notes from someone as I lost my notebook. You can't afford to be like to do like this. Aaj notebook ho rahi hai. Phir, sir, important file ho gaye. Kal Prime Minister aa raha hai. Haan, sir, 100 crore wali file nahi mil rahi. Aise thodi na behave karoge. Sir, pen nahi hai. Sir, gun ho gayi. Pata nahi kahan gayi. One terrorist attack hua hai. Sir, bullets nahi mil rahi. You can't behave like this. Thik hai na? Mumbai attack bata ke nahi hoga na. So commissioner needs to be ready. Commissioner should be aware of what kind of where exactly everything is. I can afford to be responsible. You can't. Thik? Patience and responsibility. Acquire karo ye do. So my question was
exactly what I was asking. Huh? So you, how many of you understand? You understand the difference between Al Qaeda and Taliban? If not, we'll discuss this thing in the class. I am telling you the things which are important and relevant for us. Okay. Someone living in Scandinavia can afford to ignore this difference. Okay. But this is very important because both are, uh, there was a time when both were posing what? Threat to our security. So that is why as an aspirant, you should be well aware of the difference between these two violent outfits. What Taliban wants to achieve? What is the objective of Al Qaeda? These things are going on within our neighborhood and this makes these these discussions important and relevant for us it will not be as in mains but you will be able to frame your answers in mains well if you have a if you have a proper understanding of all this see another important organization of this region is bimstec so after sark bimstec B bimstec stands for initiative for multi sectoral hmm Technical and Economic Cooperation. When it was constituted, your homework. Who all are the members of BIMSTEC? So what kind of political system are there within the countries of South Asia? SAC and BIMSTEC. And since independence, we are looking forward to have a, since independence, we have focused on our immediate neighborhood. Okay. After immediate neighborhood comes extended neighborhood. Now we do not need to know the dynamics of our bilateral ties with all the countries who are there in our extended neighborhood. We need to know the dynamic of our engagement with the region as a whole. So, Southeast Asia is seen as seen as our extended neighborhood. West Asian countries are seen as our extended neighborhood. And Central Asian states are seen as extended neighborhood. So India's engagement with Southeast Asian states, West Asian states and Central Asian states. To engage with Southeast Asia, we initiated Look East policy. Which year we initiated LDP? Any idea? We initiated in 91 after LPG. Liberalization, privatization and globalization. After LPG reforms, we initiated Look East policy. So LEP is the way to engage with Southeast Asia. Not the dynamics of our engagement with all the countries of Southeast Asia is a waste of time. So if something is going on in Indonesia, Malaysia, as such, it is not of our concern. MOU signed with one or the other country, factual facts are not at all important. MOU is memorandum of understanding. Political dynamics are important. If we consider this region as our sphere of influence, who consider this region as its sphere of influence? China. If China is trying to increase its influence here, we are trying to increase our influence where? Here. So what is going on between two Asian giants? A geopolitical rivalry to enter into each other's sphere of influence. Okay. So from Look East, we initiated Act East and we have announced Act East in 2014. So how Act East is different from Look East? What are the nuances and the dynamics of Actis, what we are trying to achieve from Actis. The important organization of this region is ASEAN. Your another homework. Same things about ASEAN. Which year it was constituted? Very good. 67. How many countries are there? 10 states. 10. Where is the headquarter? Jakarta. So what are the objectives and what are the challenges? What becomes important? The overall discussion of our engagement with the countries of this region, not the micro aspects. That is not important. To reach out to West Asian states, we are pursuing look West policy. 
again objectives and challenges to understand the objectives and challenges you need to know about the political dynamics of west asia what is the reason for such hostility what are the reasons for regional violence and instability ठीक what are the three main powers of this region israel iran saudi so dynamics of our engagement with these three major players of this region is important engagement of india with israel saudi and iran so what makes what what do you think without knowing anything can which you can now answer as one of the challenge of lukwest policy without knowing anything now you can answer one major challenge of lukwest policy to balance iran saudi ties when we say islamic world islam has two important sects shias sunni who is seen as the leader of shia sect the leadership of which country is seen as the leader of shia world iran and the leadership of saudi arabia is seen as leader of sunni world and for india the challenge is to balance our ties with both as both are seen as arc rivals why details will come later okay the important organization of this region are gcc gulf cooperation council arab league and oic organization of islamic countries so just the overview of these three organization of islamic countries are we a member of oic re ruk jao are we a member of oic aapse kal puchunga monday ko theek hai world affairs se aage aane do ek bar are we a member of oic ha ji are we a member of oic nahi hai Are we looking forward to join OIC? No. Okay. What is the objective of this organization? Yes, no. To करने लग गए. Do not say yes or no when you do not have an idea about anything. Do you know the objective of OIC? Without knowing objective, you can't say yes or no. It is to serve the interest of the Muslims in the world. it is to serve the interest of the muslim now out of so many islamic countries india has more muslims than many of the islamic countries and it stands to serve the interest of muslims in the world so don't you think india is looking forward to join it yes. who is hindering and restricting india's entry pakistan so this gives you a point pakistan is not the voice of indian muslim pakistan does not have any interest to protect the interest of indian muslims who can protect the interest of indian muslims the state of india theek hai na aise hum bashing karenge kiski pakistan ki theek hai na this is that's how, where we need the points to substantiate our line of argument there are no right or wrong it's all about how we're going to substantiate we need points to strengthen our line of argument theek hai na so when it is comment in many questions you will get comment comment is your opinion when we are saying your opinion does not mean uh, out of the blue in a state of in a state of what uh, nashe ko kya kahenge in ha in a state of intoxication you are giving your opinion it needs to be rational you need to be rational when you are writing something and uh, you need to back it with the opinion of the scholar theek hai na तो ये आउट ऑफ द ब्लू नहीं हम कह सकते दैट वी आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू ज्वाइन मल्टीपल टाइम्स इंडिया हैज सेड इंडिया हैज शोन इंटरेस्ट एवरी टाइम इंडिया इंटरेस्ट हैज बीन क्लियरली रिजेक्टेड एंड रिजेक्टेड एंड हु रेज द वॉइस दैट इंडिया कैन नॉट बी अ मेंबर ऑफ ओ आई सी पाकिस्तान नाउ ओ आई सी क्लेम्स लीडरशिप ऑफ आई सी क्लेम दैट दे आर दे क्रिएटेड दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू प्रोटेक्ट द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ मुस्लिम एंड मेनी टाइम्स दे आर गिवन एंटी इंडिया स्टेटमेंट दैट वी आर डूइंग oppression of kashmiris so they are showing concern for whom kashmiri muslims right but they have never uttered a word against china for their oppression of 
Chinese Muslims that is Uyghur. And this shows what? The double standard of OIC or not? Yes. So who will going to raise this argument? India. If you have this much of concern, why you are not uttering a word against whom? China. Okay. So our engagement with West Asian states. What is India's interest in this region? Oil. Only oil is our interest. Hmm. So we consider this region as our gas station. Is it we consider this region as our gas station? Hmm. Oil de tero baki kuch bhi karo. Indian our interest diaspora. only oil or our interest lies with the stability of this region. Stability of this region. This question, I guess in GS also I told this. This question asked by UPST twice. Now there is a violent, violent Islamic outfit with the name Islamic State, IS. Are you aware of this entity? IS emerged wherein? West Asia. With the objective of what? To acquire the territories of Iraq and Syria. Now, a terrorist outfit, a violent outfit whose objective is to acquire the territories of Iraq and Syria, how should it, why it should be a concern for us? And if it is a concern for us, it means our interest lies with the stability that this region should not come under the grip of violent outfits. Okay, now. We're done with economy. Paldia. Might, uh, few of you might be aware of the balance of payment crisis, which ushered or occurred in 90s. One of the reasons for the BOP crisis was the Gulf War, which escalated oil prices. So Gulf instability can have a direct impact on whom? Our economic condition, on our national security. So this was the question asked. Islamic State posing a threat for India's national security. Comment. So you need to know the objective of IS or not? Yes. Only then you will be able to frame an answer for this question. How rising influence of IS is posing a threat for our national security. Okay. And then comes Central Asian state. Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan. These states were the part of erstwhile Soviet Union. Soviet disintegrated and they attained independence. And India is engaging with this region under LNP. Look North policy. Again, challenges and objectives. Important organization of this region is SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Question okay. hmm. Are we a member of SCO? Pata kuch? Yes, sir. From observer status, now we have we have attained the full time membership. Okay, na? Then comes India and its engagement with the major players and powers of the world. And India and its immediate neighborhood, I forgot to tell China. So it is SAC plus China. Our engagement with China. There are two China. Sabko bata hai baat? Are you aware there are two Chinas? Yes, sir. Tell me the name of these two Chinas. So one is People's Republic of China, mm -hmm. which represents Taiwan, and other is the China we know as China. Uman is saying, aapne ulta bol diya. There are two Chinas. One is PRC, other is ROC. People's Republic of China and Republic of ROC China. Republic. People's Republic of China is the communist China, which is in our neighborhood. And ROC is Taiwan. Issue of one China, very important to understand as this issue can emerge as a flashpoint for new military conflict in the world. After independence, we decided to have good cordial ties with which China? PRC. And Indian leaders and communist leaders of China signed an agreement called Panchil Agreement. Who attained the permanent membership at that time in UNSC from China? ROC. 
it was roc who was having the permanent membership in un and india supported the entry of whom in china as a permanent member prc and right now who is against india's entry in un as a permanent member prc and that's why nehru is seen as idealist ye baat karenge that foreign policy of india in the after the first few years of independence was to idealist so our engagement with prc people's republic and we decided so after the end of second world war cold war started right and at that time india decided to keep both powers or to remain away from both superpowers that is us and ussr and india decided to pursue no no you can see india decided to keep itself aloof from geopolitical rivalry and india decided not to engage with both under nam but india decided to have good cordial ties with whom prc under what neighborhood first policy so my baat so since independence we have given lot of focus and emphasis on what immediate neighborhood theek hai and another is myanmar we share long border with myanmar so myanmar is a south east asian state region regionally it lies in southeast asia china lies in east asia okay but because we share border with them we are going to discuss the dynamic of our bilateral engagement with both india china and india myanmar third circle india and major powers that is us india's engagement with us india's engagement with russia challenge to balance both india japan okay india eu europe as a whole theek hai na not one or the other country of europe but eu as a whole so our engagement with the major players and powers kotelia what kotelia said that a country and a state will face threats from whom immediate neighborhood and we decided to engage with whom immediate neighborhood right now at present out of all the major security threats who are posing the bigger threat immediate neighborhood china and pakistan and we need whom to counter this threat us so kotelia was right or not this is how we're going to link kotelia's theory in the present time so if you have if we have to write anything on india pakistan and china we'll start from where kotelia samjhe kotelia will cover under indian political thought will link paper 2 and paper 1 when we frame our answer theek hai na aisa hum gs mein nahi karenge optional mein karenge theek hai na so india's engagement with major players and powers india eu and india africa as a whole theek as such in general we don't do like this we you can but that will reflect there is no rule that you can't in general even if you will not write that you, because world limit will be as such that you will not have scope to write all this because of the world limit but even if you will start your intro with that it will not it will give a good impression only you know india's engagement with un india's engagement with un and our role in important international institutions and organizations this is how we're going to cover our paper 2 after the completion of theories and the concepts this is how, this is how we're going to cover the part b section of your paper 2 that is india and the world and while reading the newspapers also you need to focus in this dimension okay these things are important and relevant for us and these things are of no relevance of no relevance to us let's say recently elections are going on in france which who will going to now which party will going to power this is important for an aspirant of upsc that whether left is coming into power or right so this discussion of left and right will come when we discuss ideologies ठीक है ना आपको और बेटर क्लैरिटी होगी 
already this aspect I have discussed with those who attended the GS lecture, but I want to discuss this with every one of you who is starting your UPSC preparation in context of, as I said, India and its role in UN. India is looking forward for what? Permanent membership in UN? Now, there can be a question in your mains. Already asked, I guess, last to last year also, a full 20 marks question, which has been asked in your PSR paper to critically analyze the relevance of UN. Why this question mark, why the question mark is coming on the relevance of UN? Why the why this opinion is emerging in the world and many scholars are criticizing UN that it has lost its relevance. It has failed to deter Russia from invading Ukraine. It has failed to stop proliferation of nuclear weapons. It has failed to stop Israel from creating humanitarian crisis in Gaza. So many resolutions being passed, but Israel as a state is not stopping. It has failed to stop human rights violations within the country. It has failed to prevent the junta government of Myanmar to topple democracy in Myanmar. It has failed to stop the emergence of terrorism in the world or emergence of Islamic State in the world. It has failed to prevent Taliban from acquiring power. It has failed to ensure the women rights in Afghanistan. It has failed to ensure women rights in Iran. Do I need to speak more to criticize UN? So it is relevant. GS students, please answer. Please do not answer this. Let others try. Do you think it is relevant? Hanji. Yeah. And what is written? Mm -hmm. But what this something is doing? Don't you think it's a waste of energy and resources? Going there, attending sessions, sipping coffee. Because Trump said, US president, it's just a coffee club. We come, we enjoy, we sip coffees, and we go back. Is it relevant? No, no, this guy. Huh? Huh? Do you think UN is relevant? Okay. No, no, I'm not. I was not asking from you. I'm not. Yes, from you only. I'm asking. Huh? Do you think it is relevant? How you see? Where you see the relevance of UN? Okay. I'll ask a more a bit more easy question from you or from the class. Do you think it is possible to have nuke free world? Ab GS students ko samaj aa raha hoga ki hum bhi aise hi the, aise hi rehte. Agar maine aapko nahi bataya hota to possible to have a nuke free world? Is it possible? Two questions to put on it. Patience. Is it possible to end the issue of terrorism in the world? You don't think so. Is it possible, from you only, is it possible to solve the issue of Kashmir? from you only. Huh? Is it possible to solve the issue of Kashmir? That complete POK will be ours. And Pakistan, after that, will not push violence against us. No. Do you think we'll be able to take Aksai Chin back from China? Last do you think we'll be able to end disparities in India? No. Do you think we'll be able to end poverty in India? No. Ghar jao sab lo. Aram. Sab aram karo. Mera kiyo gala kharaab karo hoge. Band karte hain batch batch. Kuch nahi rakha isme. Kaise students aaye hain. Ghar chalte hain phir sab log apna. Mera to hoge attempt khatam. Aapko kuch vishwasi nahi hai dunia pe. घर बैठो आराम से यार 
यूएन किसी काम का नहीं है टेररिज्म खत्म हो नहीं सकता कश्मीर हम वापस ले नहीं सकते अक्साई चिन्ह हमें मिलेगा नहीं टेररिज्म क्या वजह पॉवर्टी खत्म होगी नहीं डिस्पेर क्या लिखोगे आंसर्स में यूपीएससी जाके वाई बी आर वाई यू आर वेस्टिंग आर टाइम अगर इफ बोर्ड वुड हैव आज दिस डू यू थिंक इट इज पॉसिबल टू एंड करप्शन वॉट यू वुड हैव सेट नो सर आई डू मोर you select me or the aspirant who is sitting outside it will hardly make you cannot end corruption in bureaucracy as said by kotilya that it is not possible to end corruption it is like having honey on the tongue and not tasting it aise bolne wale ho tabhi maine kaha tha ki pehle to aaj first class hai yehi samajh lo ki na karne kya aaye ho yahan pe kya karne aaye ho aaye sun ke kya karne aaye ho change karne aaye ho ya bas यूनिफॉर्म यूनिफॉर्म पहन के चले सर बस वॉट यू आर हेयर फॉर चेंज यू थिंक यू कैन चेंज डोंट यू आर सेंग इट बट यू डू नॉट हैव कन्विक्शन बिल्ड कन्विक्शन दिस इज योर मेन आंसर राइटिंग एंड दिस इज द दिस इज वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वेन आई सेट पर्सनैलिटी डेवलप दिस ठीक है ना वी एक्सपेक्ट दिस फ्रॉम द एस्परेंट not the kind of answers you were giving this reflects what huge pessimism in your approach bude ho chuke ho kuch possible nahi hai sir duniya mein is peace possible no sir we'll fight wars are need is to prevent wars wars to kis din lad lenge hum we need people with lot of energy who are ready to counter these what issues and problem and ready to struggle hard to solve these issues or not You are saying you are irrelevant. वो तो मैं झूठ बोल रहा था. India is looking forward for permanent membership. Your country is looking for permanent membership, and you holding this view, it is not relevant. Means those, the whole foreign policy of India is wrong. When something is not relevant, uh, where we are ready to acquire what permanent membership, where we need to contribute more in UN budgets, we are ready to contribute more in UN budget. Why? you can't afford to hold these kind of opinions un is irrelevant when i am saying personality you need to build this personality there are two types of people in the world satisfied with the things and dissatisfied with the things in general you come under which category of people what kind of people you are dissatisfied highly dissatisfied with so many things tabhi to main class mein aayo सेटिस्फाइड होते तो कहा होते घर होते इफ यू वुड हैव बीन सेटिस्फाइड विद योर जॉब एंड वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग यू वुड नॉट हैव बीन हेयर यू आर इन जनरल वॉट डिसटिस्फाइड एंड देर इज नो इट्स नॉट रॉन्ग इफ यू आर डिसटिस्फाइड विद थिंग्स ठीक है ना अंबानी किड्स विल नॉट कम एंड प्रिपेयर फॉर यूपीएससी वाई बिकॉज दे आर फाइन विद द स्टेटस को विच इज मेंटेनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड इट इज इन देयर इंटरेस्ट यू आर डिसटिस्फाइड and you think wo to lag nahi raha but but you think that it is possible to bring change so optimism pessimism so whether you are optimist about this or you hold what pessimism what kind of individual you need optimist and what kind of individual you are sounding let's say you have your own organization you have your company you looking forward to hire someone and you are taking interview person comes and tell you the problems about your company and once you are asking what is the solution person saying that i don't know you just tell me salary will you going to hire that individual then if i ask you to write an essay on the problems in india can you write yes all of us can write there are n number of problem the thing is do you have any solution fir wo aapke pas hai nahi wo sir pata nahi कश्मीर तो सॉल्व नहीं होने वाला डिप्लोमेट मैं बनूं या कोई और हा सेटिस्फाइड ऑप्टिमिस्ट आर प्रोग्रेसिव इंडिविजुअल तो इन दोज ट्वेंटी मिनट्स वेन एवर यू विल रीच इन फ्रंट ऑफ द बोर्ड यू शुड साउंड व्हाट प्रोग्रेसिव यू आर सेटिस्फाइड विद होल्डिंग लॉट ऑफ ऑप्टिमिज्म यस सर थिंग्स कैन बी डन इन अ बेटर वे एंड आई एम रेडी टू डू दैट satisfied pessimists are conservatives so there is a clash ye sab ye in gsi just told in psir we need to go into details when we discuss 
आइडियोलॉजीज ये सब उसका पार्ट है हमारा सो कंजर्वेटिव एंड दिज अ क्लैश गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन हुम प्रोग्रेसिव एंड कंजर्वेटिव प्रोग्रेसिव ऑलवेज ट्राई टू गो फॉर वॉट चेंज राजा राम मोहन रॉय वॉज प्रोग्रेसिव विवेकानंद वॉज एंड दे फेस डेथ थ्रेट फ्रॉम हुम कंजर्वेटिव फिर तो ऑलवेज प्रोग्रेसिव विल फेस थ्रेट्स फ्रॉम हुम कंजर्वेटिव प्रोग्रेसिव आर सोल ऑफ सोसाइटी दे आर सोल ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी दे प्रिवेंट सोसाइटी टू बिकम स्टेगनेंट यू आर डिसफाइड यू आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद यू एन वी आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद यू एन बट वॉट पी एम मोदी सेट इट्स हाई टाइम फॉर यू एन टू रिफॉर्म बिकॉज इफ विल नॉट रिफॉर्म यू एन इट विल बी इर रेलिवेंट सो हु वॉन्ट्स टू मेक इट मोर रेलिवेंट India, who wants to make bureaucracy relevant? Are you by entering into it? India, हम कुछ नहीं करेंगे. You are dissatisfied with the system, and you think it is possible to change. What kind of individual you are? Radical. So, आप या तो progressive रहो या radical रहो. So, you when you will comment, you will criticize first, and then you will impart solution. You will show satisfaction. Okay, enough has been done, but things could have been done in a better way. You have to be on the right side of the quadrant. Okay. Dissatisfied and pessimist. What kind of individuals you were sounding? Dissatisfied pessimist. Kashmir gaya bhi galat, ab le bhi nahi payenge. Caste system kharaab hai, change bhi nahi kar payenge. Rich will become more richer, and we can't end poverty. This is how you were sounding. Dissatisfied pessimists are known as regressive individuals. Okay. To these people only, PM Modi used the word "andolan jeevi." Who are they? they are dissatisfied and they are not ready to accept the challenge they only do the politics of protest so you as a dm will try to change the status quo few people will come in front of your office and they will do what protest if you ask them okay you suggest the change they do nothing okay so they are dissatisfied pessimists they are dissatisfied but they are not ready to do anything also they only do what protest and they become the part of what civil society who keep protesting do you want to be like this no you are ready to acquire power and ready to work hard to bring what change and extreme regressive become terrorist naxals yahi naxals hain to aap kya banne ki category mein ja rahe the terrorist bas violence aur karni thi theek hai aapko to kuch vishwas hi nahi hai duniya ka dissatisfied pessimist you were sounding conservatives you were sounding this is called generation gap youth is always what and old age is always what phir aap kya sound kar rahe the this is the difference between mental age and biological age biologically you are young mentally you were sounding old kuch nahi ho sakta 50 saal mein aadmi kehta hai are yaar bas ho gaya ab ek second so this is how ओल्ड पीपल टॉक दुनिया कुछ नहीं अंग्रेजों का जमाना बेटर था ट्रेन टाइम पे चलती थी ठीक है ऐसी बातें नहीं करनी है योर आंसर योर आंसर राइटिंग शुड रिफ्लेक्ट विच आस्पेक्ट ऑफ योर पर्सनैलिटी प्रोग्रेसिव रेडिकल पर्सनैलिटी ठीक है ना जनरेशन गैप होता है हर जनरेशन को फेस करना पड़ता है नेक्स्ट जनरेशन से दैट्स वाई बायोलॉजिकली माइट बी समन इज ग्रोइंग बट मेंटली इज पर्सन इज स्टिल प्रोग्रेसिव रेडिकल रेडी टू वर्क हार्ड टू ब्रिंग वॉट चेंज UN is relevant. Kashmir issue can be solved. Will be able to take a side chin. ठीक है. Poverty can be solved. Disparities can be removed. Caste rigidities. Yes. ठीक है. Now India can be a better Sir. democracy. World will be a better place to live. Will be able to have peace in the world. ठीक है. We'll continue on Monday. हाँ जी. Sir, sir. Sir, ये. Where will? Sir. Just a second. Just a second. We'll take all your questions. Stoicism, in the sense, hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we are saying stoicism, means explain it. It can be an ideology, I guess. Ism lag gaya na? Explain it. Uh, whatever is happening, let it happen. Let it happen. Will not come under these. You we cannot put as such it in any of the quadrant. Okay, there are. It is not two dimensional. I'll tell you more when we'll come to three dimensional aspect. Okay, Suntolo. So this is the personality aspect. It has nothing to do with your PSIR. In general, you need to develop this kind of personality that your answers your and uh, when you write your answers in mains it should reflect which aspect of yours progress because that's why we say conclusions we need to end conclusions on which note optimism so we should solution ki taraf jao. problems ki taraf we all know the problems the thing is whether we can impart solution or not okay na? and on this on this theme is on this theme only, the topic of left-wing extremism is connected. Because left-wing extremists, that is the Naxal, their only objective is power. They do not know what they want to do with power. What you will do with power? Uh, bring change. And keep take this world also. Pushto, you need to take few things at home after every lecture. So when, I, when, you, when we are saying you are aspiring for power, what you will do with power? You will bring development to the people, you will bring change in their life. You will bring development to the people. Power say you will bring change, you will bring development. Define development. What is development? Improvement in the standard of living. Define standard of living. Uh, what is that? How you will define standard of living? Basic necessities. What are your basic necessities? Your basic and her basic can be different. In one t-shirt, you can spend a week. That is complete necessity. You do not need to change that also. That is your basic necessity. What is development? You can't define development. Development is subjective. Your notion of development is different. can be different from someone else's notion of development. So we'll not talk in terms of development. We do not we will not talk in terms of women development. Can men decide what is development for women? So men can't decide what is power anyone without you being in power. So what you are here for? Power. To do what? Empower others. To empower others, you yourself need power. And you are aspiring with you are aspiring for power with legitimate means. And aspiration for power is not wrong. So you are not here to become philosopher. You are not here to become a scholar. You are here to acquire power. So you are studying PSIR. You have just opted PSIR because this optional has maximum linkages with GS. And you think you can have a good understanding of this subject from which you can score more. But this is not nahi. You do not have love for PSIR. So do not fall into this trap of loving PSIR and loving other subjects in GS. Study these subjects, keeping this thing in your mind that you have to qualify UPSC. Otherwise, carried away. There is sky will not fall if you will not watch or listen the debate which is going on between Trump and Biden. There is no need to listen all this and remember remembering anything out of this debate for a UPSC aspirant. Because already there is so much to understand and so much to learn. Whatever content will be required, everything I am going to give you in the class, you do not need to have any concern for content. And all the concepts I am going to discuss in detail from scratch in the class. What is required from your side is revision and consolidation. And once test series will start, do write your test. These things are required from your side and whatever is required from my side, I'm going to deliver in next six months. So for first one month, have patience, especially those who are coming from technical background, because the roots of this subject lies in 
philosophy and sometimes it become difficult to understand a bit of philosophy which has been done by plato you will be very comfortable with the subject after the completion of plato and aristotle okay so we'll continue our discussion on monday just revise the notes whatever and wherever you need to read something from the book i'll recommend you that okay see you on monday